been enough for me, and it's time to get on about the business of our work. Um, so I'm about to introduce our next fabulous human being who's going to facilitate our skills building session around cohorts. All right? We're starting the cohort talk already. Um, I am very delighted to welcome my own cohort of two in the facilitation trade, the amazing Carmen Morgan. Thanks, y'all. I didn't do a mic check, so I don't know. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Hi, everyone. Hi. Listen, um, I don't have an instrument. I'm not going to do any singing. So, and. Um, we are going to do a barbecue right after this. So I just want you all to hang in there, because I know that um, many of you are coming from the airport. Uh, some of you are on Pacific Coast time. There's a lot. And so we're, we're going to do a little bit of skills building to get it started. There's going to be some movement. But know that after this, relax, reception, barbecue. OK. Um, just a quick show of hands. How many of you were part of the prep call that we did so that you could be Prepped. OK, good. Oh, good, good, good. So some of this might be a little bit of, of, of a repeat for some of you. And Lisa already talked about it, uh, which is why are we spending so much time and energy on cohort building? And I just want to give you a little bit of context. Then we're going to jump right into what we're going to do these three days around cohorts. And then um, we're going to do some cohort building. So um, the first piece is that, uh, and some, again, some of you heard this on the, uh, on, on the prep call. You know, there's been a lot of research, mostly by foundations who have a lot of financial resources to do this kind of research, that cohorts are far more effective than just one-on-one um, -on -one information sharing or working in silos, that there's a lot of added value when you work in cohorts. Um, they're often cost-effective, et cetera. So that's one of the reasons why we really want to um, drill down on, on, on spending time um, uh, getting some skills around cohorts. Uh, the other is, um, you know, there might be some funding connected to it. And uh, not that that should be, you know, the only reason why you spend the time and energy to spend some time learning about it, but that um, audience revolution, the next phase of this is going to spend some time, um, it's going to fund cohorts. So the vehicle by which you're going to get the funding, you would get the funding, is through a cohort. And then last but not least, there are folks in this room who are already a part of cohorts. In fact, can you, if you're part of a national cohort, a regional cohort, doing any kind of cohort working, can you just raise your hand? OK, great. So um, we fully expect to tap into the experience of what might be working really well and effective in those experiences, and also what some of the challenges are. OK, so what we're going to try to do over the course of these three days are things moving behind me? The slides and so forth? Oh, they are? OK. Great. So here's what we're going to try to do. Um, we're going to share some strategies on what makes cohorts effective. And we're going to do a little bit of that today. We want to give you all an opportunity to practice some of that and uh, try out some of those strategies. And we'll be doing that on Thursday. And then um, on Friday, we're going to have a report out. And that's going to be, we're going to, there's an assignment that you all have in your workbook. And what we're going to ask you to do is to think about, for the next three days, where there might be some uh, new learnings. And we're going to talk about that on, um, that's a lot of uh, facilitator talk. New learnings, report out. But you know what I mean. We're going to do that on Friday. Um, what else? Oh, Samantha. Samantha from Tempe, Arizona. Come on down. Where's Samantha? <laughs> Samantha, how are you? I'm great. What a surprise. <laughs> Samantha, is this your first time here at a TCG conference? It is not. I was at the first audience revolution in 2013. Wonderful. <laughs> well, Samantha, what do you have to share with us today? Why, Carmen, I think I have to share the definition of cohort with all of you fine people today. Uh, the definition of a cohort is a group of individuals working together toward a shared goal, often on behalf of an organization or community that shares some sets of Thank you very much, You're Samantha. Welcome. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we were on the, on the prep call, we were talking about cohort this, cohort that, cohort, cohort, cohort. And then one of the questions uh, that we got was, what's a cohort? So it's just simply what Samantha just said. 
and it's right up here. Um, it's uh, lots of different characteristics that folks can form around to, again, do the added value. And this is also in your workbook, I believe. What page would that be on, Samantha? 13. Thank you. <laughs> OK. OK, so this is what I want to spend most of the time doing. We're actually going to do some cohort building right now. Um, so I'm going to just start out by saying I'm really going to need your patience here. I'm going to really need your support. I'm going to need you all. I'm going to need your attention. And I'm going to really need you to follow all of the directions that I give you. OK? And no pushback, just for this part. No pushback. <laughs> so um, here's what I'm going to do. I'd like you all to listen. I'm going to give you all the, all the instructions, all the directions. And then when I tell you to move, that's when you're going to move. And we've got about 220 people in this room. So like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask for your support. Uh, do we have folks queued up where they're supposed to be? All right, wonderful, TCG folks. Uh, I think we're going to need Lisa. Great, Lisa's there. OK, so we're going to ask you to pick one of these buckets here, and we're going to call them out again. And as the staff call out the buckets, just listen to think if any one of them resonates for you. And it might be that when you registered, you checked that as an area of interest. Or it might be that just for today, you're like, you know what? I think I'm interested in that. It, you, you don't have to uh, be too wedded to it. Uh, but it should be an area where you would be interested in having a conversation and gaining some more information around it, right? So listen to what gets called out and already be thinking what resonates for you. And uh, if you're feeling like, oh, no, what did I check on the registration? It doesn't have to be all about that, OK? Already a question, yes. No, no, you're not committed to it for the entire time. Although, Lisa, there is a stipulation. There is some bucket commitment, right? No? <laughs> sort of a yes and a no. Um, we're going to ask you to be committed to the cohort that we will build in this exercise for the whole time. OK. You don't have to only do stuff about balancing new audiences and existing subscribers the whole time if that's just one of your interests. Does that answer that question? Is that helpful? So we're going to create. All will be revealed. You're going to create a little uh, cohort model, and we are going to ask you to. There will be some strategic moments on Thursday that we say go back to that group, and this, and again on Friday. Yeah, is that helpful? But you don't have to be committed to that particular topic area. Any other questions before we we uh, I already I already feel the energy. People are losing attention. Okay, there's a yeah. A definition of creative pace, uh, placemaking. OK, so I'm going to hand that question off to Lisa. <laughs> smooth, Carmen, smooth. <laughs> Efforts to create vibrancy using the arts in a particular geographic place. Great. Good question. Any other clarification? You know, why don't we do this? We're going to read them all off, and then we'll do another round of questions. Just to, if uh, anything's not clear. OK, um, we're going to start with Dafina, and you know what to do. OK, did everybody hear that? Wait, you might have, wait, wait. She, I th she's going to turn it on for you, I think. Well, oh, OK. Balancing, OK, great. Is this on? OK, yes. Woo! Balancing new audiences with your current subscribers, if that's great. a challenge for you to balance new and the old. Wonderful. And just for ease, I might repeat these as we go. Go for it, JP. Developing and sustaining authentic partnerships with diverse audiences. Nice. Thank you. All right. OK, OK, Kevin. Here we have motivating staff and aligning departments. OK. Measuring data collection and effectiveness. Thank you so much. 
All right. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. And over here? Okay. Okay. So, uh, for the purpose of this exercise, activity, exploration in the value of cohorts, we're going to ask you to just pick one of these. And again, you don't have to be wedded to it. It's not going to be a defining characteristic for the rest of your life. Just for this, through these three days, just for these three days, there's flexibil flexibility here. So think about it. Are you all, are you, do you all have it? Like you know which one you're probably going to move to? OK. Uh, raise your hand if you don't have any clue what you're going to do after I say move. OK. Let's just, everyone, everyone, let's provide support to this one individual over here. What? <laughs> we want to support you. What, ask our question. But we're, we've already got a whole lot of stuff going on over here. What? Wait, just a second. Just a second. We're going to, we've got a one quick question, and then you can do your cohort building. OK. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, I, yeah, I guess my question is how much, uh, how much gathering and gaining from the conversation with the other groups do we have the capacity to do? I, I'm so interested a lot. in like, digging into one, but I don't want to miss out on the things people are going to be sharing about. I guess that's how my question is. Isn't that the challenge? Yeah. Okay. Fun. So, <laughs> you're going to have a lot of opportunities throughout these three days to mix and test out a lot of other areas. Uh, so really, uh, this is an exercise that's going to drill down on some of the dynamics, the group dynamics that come up when you're a new collective working together. So if you think about it that way, the topic area, it, it's helpful and it's important, but it won't be the end all be all for the weekend, for, the, for these three days. Is that helpful? OK. So the rest of you are all ready to move. Um, and when I say uh, move, You'll, take, you'll pick up your things, because when you um, come back, you'll be in your cohorts. And so you may not be sitting where you're going to be sitting. And uh, this is the support that I need. This is where the patience and the support comes in. Please do this in silence. This part, it's very important. It doesn't work if you speak. <laughs> so I need you to do this in silence. Please move. Wonderful. Now, I know it's getting really bunched up, but we're going to do another round of sorting. So uh, just make your way as best you can towards uh, the uh, area. And for this group over here, bring some of you, bring, feel free to bring some of you, you over here. You can sit, but, but know it's going to be temporary because you're going to break again. So this is just sort yourself as best you can, push towards the poster that best represents you, but know that you're going to break again. OK, staff that are there with the regional signs. Let's get ready. Is there anybody that's still just trying to find their way? Do you need a little bit more time? OK, let me go ahead and give you the directions, the next uh, phase of directions, because I already see the silence is wearing thin right now. People are already starting to talk. So let's do this quickly. What you're going to do now is think about whether or not there's some benefit to having a conversation around this topic area um, in a region, OK? Now, uh, one of the regions is, I don't want to do this conversation in a region. So already, don't get anxious if you feel like you don't want to do this conversation in a region. So you can choose from, and we want to be really broad, just so that you can, um, we're going to be, these are broad regions. East, all of East, all of West, National, people who want to be a part of a mix, 
um, Midwest and then South. And then I don't want to be a region. That's the question mark. So now I need you to get a sign if that's what you want to represent. Take that sign and move away from where there are a lot of people and stand there with that sign so that the people who are connected to that bucket who now want that region will go with you. Does that make sense? We're going to break again now based on region. So grab a sign, folks, cluster together, and start moving with the person that's got the sign. Hold those signs up high, please. You're a delegate. You're a delegate. Move with the person who's got the sign. Wonderful. Great. And just cluster together, but away from a whole bunch of other people so that we can just spread this out. There's a lot of space in the middle. That's me. Yeah. I know. I know. OK. <laughs> Okay, this may be a helpful uh, addition to the direction. Folks, uh, just, I'm just gonna say one more thing and then I feel like you'll be ready to go grab your chairs because then you've got an assignment to do. The goal is to get yourselves down to about maybe 10 people. So if you're um, in a group that, you know, I mean if you're in a group of 15, I suppose we can make that work. But look around and see um, how big your group is. If you're a group of you know, 30, then you're still a little large, you may want to just split yourself in half. Or um, you may want to use another defining characteristic, like all the people with tennis shoes go together, all the people with, <laughs> all the attractive people go together, all the, okay. So, uh, although, um, yeah, it's so subjective, so I didn't mean to hurt anybody's first, it, yeah, so it'll work out. Yeah, you could have two national groups, but we don't want you to be so big that you can't.